The Baldwin County Public Schools is reporting that vaping has become a really big problem. It's become dangerous recently as some students have required medical treatment after inhaling THC and fentanyl. WKRG News 5's Whitney Leibold reports on how the school system plans to deal with this situation. I don't want any parent to ever suffer that pain of losing your child. In Monday, Baldwin County Public Schools held a press conference to speak about the dangers of vaping. You don't know what you're inhaling into your body, so it can run your lungs, but not only that, the different drugs that are in the vapes itself can lead to major conditions. Fairhope High School administrators test all vaping devices that they find. Yeah, if you're caught with just a vapor, we test every vape that we catch now. If you and if it doesn't test, then it's a one-day suspension. If it tests positive for THC, then it's a five-day suspension with a referral to the CAPS for program, which is an educational program about drug and alcohol abuse. Another concern that health officials are catching in the students' vapes is fentanyl, which can lead to extreme consequences. Well, we just really worry about kids getting hold of something that they don't know has fentanyl in it. And any touch of it sometimes can make you go, you know, have an overdose and go out and have respi decreased respiratory, um, decreased breaths, and then you can end up, you know, dying from it. So and Barnhill says that most parents that she's spoken with have no idea that their child is using a vape. And she also said that she wants parents to take the initiative to check on them because you never know what it could lead to. In Fairhope, Whitney Leibel, WKRG News 5.